Who's ready for the Second Amendment to the U.S. Constitution? Is anyone really ever ready for the Second Amendment? I'm not sure. Let's take a look at it. Here's the language. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. That's the actual language. Now, the meaning behind the language is actually is pretty complicated, and it really had to do with this idea of a militia when the colonies were first getting going and when the amendments were first put together. So we've got several cases that have gone to the U.S. Supreme Court regarding this particular amendment. The first case really uh, set out kind of a trend for the U.S. Supreme Court, and it was the Crookshank case of 1876, and I'll leave that listed below. And in this case, the U.S. Supreme Court just flat out said the Second Amendment applies to the federal government. That was the intent behind it when it was written, and it does not apply to the states. And so that held true for many, many years. Next up was the Presser case, and this had to do with what exactly an organized militia was. So we kind of set out the standards for that, which is really what this amendment was about when it was initially written. After that came a case that really changed uh, the discussion to an individual question of the right to bear arms, and that was the U.S. v. Miller case of 1939. And this had to do with the very famous Valentine Day Massacre in Al Capone, where the question became, should a citizen be allowed to purchase and use a sawed-off shotgun? So we have this idea of what kind of arms uh, citizens are going to be allowed to have. So our discussion kind of took another turn and pulled further away from this idea of a militia and more into this individual rights. Next, we've got cases, uh, the Haynes case, the Heller and the McDonald case. And these all came down to, again, individual rights when it came to owning arms. And it was a McDonald case in 2010 that actually incorporated the Second Amendment to the states. Before that case was decided in 2010, the Second Amendment did not apply to the states. It only applied to the federal government.